What's happening? It's Shane here. And today we're going to be talking about the majors with the highest unemployment rates, right? So these are college degrees that people get and they're much more likely to end up being unemployed. So we're going to jump right into it. This is going to be a pretty quick one. But before we do that, make sure to gently tap the like button. We will set a goal of, let's say, 1,100 likes on this video. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already and ring the notification bell. All right, so first of all, before we get into the specific majors, let's talk about the type of degree. So when it comes to unemployment rates, you're gonna notice that the type of degree, whether it's an associate or a bachelor's or a master's or a doctorate, is going to have different levels of unemployment. So in 2020, for instance, the latest uh, statistics from the uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, if you had less than a high school diploma, um, you were probably going to have an unemployment rate of around 11.7% on average for the average person. With a high school diploma, it was about 9%. Some college, but no degree, it was 8.3%. An associate's degree was about 7.1%. A bachelor degree was 5.5%. A master's degree was 4.1%. A professional degree, which would be like a, you know, a lawyer, like a farm D, something along those lines, that was 3.1%. And then the type of degree that had the lowest unemployment rate was a doctoral degree at 2.5%. So this clearly goes to show that the higher level of education that you have, generally speaking, you're more likely to be employed. Now looking at data that was collected before 2020, obviously that kind of threw things off. Um, it was very similar and uh, if you look at this data, you know, you see a lot of engineering degrees having low levels of unemployment, uh, accounting degrees, you know, 2.3% here, finance, 2.1%, nursing, 1.7%, education degrees actually came out on top as a group uh, with you know 0.9% for education other uh, general education was 1.4%. Now, the way they collected this data, first of all, they only used very common degrees. And then second of all, they kind of bunched a bunch of different degrees together that maybe they shouldn't have, like general medical and health services at 2.3%. Uh, that could be so many different degrees. But it's kind of nice to see a trend here. You see a lot of business degrees, um, a lot of science degrees, math degrees, engineering degrees, and technology degrees. Not so surprising. And then the average for a 25 to 20 nine-year-old with a bachelor's degree was about a 2.9% unemployment rate. Now, when you dive a little bit more deeply into the data and you look at specific degrees, this is what you're gonna find. The number five major with the highest unemployment rate is going to be construction services. So the unemployment rate, again, this was taken before the whole situation in the world, so these numbers are not gonna be exactly the same, but it was 6.1%. But more than that, the underemployment rate of this degree was 34%. Underemployment is basically when somebody is maybe like working part-time, they don't have a full-time job, or they are working in a career that's completely unrelated to their degree. Now, on top of that the share of people who graduate with their bachelors and end up getting a graduate degree is about 10% which is pretty low. Next one on the list number four is going to be philosophy. The unemployment rate is going to be about 6.2% however the underemployment rate is an astronomical 50.9%. So a lot of people who graduate with a philosophy degree end up doing something that has nothing to do with philosophy. Now if you look at the number of people who graduate with a philosophy degree and then they end up going on to grad school, either to you know get a master's in philosophy, a PhD in philosophy, or become a lawyer, something along those lines, it's 57.3%. That, in my opinion, when you see numbers that high, is a very, very bad sign because that means people are not able to get a job with just a bachelor's. It's nice to have the option to go back and get your master's or your doctorate if that's something you wanna do, but you don't wanna be forced into that situation. Next one on the list, number three, is going to be anthropology. This one has an unemployment rate of 6.6%. Then the underemployment rate here is a whopping 59.1%. So it's actually even worse than philosophy. So again, a lot of people who are graduating with a anthropology degree are not able to get a career that has anything to do 
with anthropology. Then there is a 46.9% share that go on to get a graduate level degree. So again, very, very bad sign when you see something up at like 46.9. The first one we talked about construction services was only 10%. Next one on the list, number two is going to be liberal arts. The unemployment rate here is 6.7%. The underemployment rate is 58%. And then the share of students who graduate with this degree end up getting a graduate level level degree is around 27%. So not as bad as the other ones, but still a relatively high number. And then number one on the list at 7.8% unemployment is going to be mass media. The underemployment rate here is 55.2% and the share with a graduate degree is a pretty decent 18.3%. But that unemployment rate of 7.8% is very high. I know that probably doesn't seem like a big difference, but uh, you know, economists have done studies on the unemployment rates. For every 1% the unemployment rates go up, sometimes they'll say like, you know, 50,000 extra people die in the United States for instance. Those aren't exact numbers, so don't quote me on that, but studies are very similar to that. Like the unemployment rate is very important is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, quick video for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead. If you haven't done it already, check out my college 101 course down in the description below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.